everyone, welcome back to Project Wild. I hope you all had a really fun Halloween yesterday. I promised you this week that I would get a couple of short videos to you about some of our creepy animals here in Texas. So this month we had lots of fun. We talked about bats towards the beginning of the month. You guys remember that? We went out to the bat cave and I got bit by mosquitoes, but that was okay because we, we read all about bats. And then we talked about owls and uh, ooh, the ducks visited me that morning. That was really fun. Um, and we talked about other raptors like hawks that live nearby us. And then last week uh, we talked all about spiders and how spiders, um, even though they're kind of a little bit creepy and they have lots of legs that they are our friends because they're very helpful. So this week, um, these two animals that I'm going to talk about today are actually not part of the Growing Up Wild program. So you won't see a link for um, resources from uh, the actual Project Wild program. But I, I love these animals. I think they're such an interesting and um, important part of our ecosystem here. So I thought you definitely should know about them. So the first one I'm going to talk about today um, has a really yucky job to do. I was thinking about things that I do in my house that I don't like to do, um, like taking out the garbage, or especially when the garbage is really stinky, yeah, or cleaning the toilet in the bathroom. Ooh, it's not my favorite job at all. Um, but the animal that I am thinking about today, um, I think it has a really yucky sort of job. They are sort of like our, um, the garbage collectors of Texas. And the animal that I'm talking to you about today is called a vulture. Now I know you have seen vultures. You see them a lot of times flying up in the air and they're, they're really big birds. It doesn't look like they should be able to fly very well. And the truth is they're, they're not great flyers, especially if it's windy outside. They sort of clunk around a little bit and um, they, they don't like it when it rains. So if they get caught in the rain, you'll see them oftentimes on lampposts and things with their wings out because they're trying to dry off. They don't really like that. But vultures are a very important part of our ecosystem here. When we think about what do all living things have in common? Well, everything that's alive had to be born. We all eat, we all poop, and everything that's alive will die. Plants, animals, people, it is part of life. We all die. Well, in the animal world, they don't have funerals and things for their fellow animals that die. And so vultures have a job. They are the cleanup crew. They help clean up all of the animal bodies from the animals that have died. Um, and there's a particular kind, like a name for those kind of animals. They're called scavengers. And there's a couple different kinds that we have um, that are here in Texas, three in particular. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of them. And then I'm gonna read you a story about vultures. So I have a really big book about birds. I actually have a lot of books about birds because I really like birds. But this one has some good pictures in it of vultures. And so I wanted you to be able to see them. So here's a picture of a vulture and you can see where its wings are out right here. Yeah, it does that when it gets wet. And vultures can be found all over the place, all over the United States, but we really have a lot of them here in Texas. So this one right here, this picture is of a black vulture. So they call it a black vulture because its feathers are all black and its head is all black. So that's pretty cool. And the other kind of vulture that we have here, and here's a big picture of it, is called a turkey vulture. Now that seems to be kind of a funny name for a vulture, but the turkey vultures are the ones that have red on their heads. So black vultures have all black feathers and turkey vultures have red right there on their heads. 
And most often we see vultures maybe on the side of the road because, you know, animals can die because they just got old or they got sick or they got injured some way. And we see that on the side of the road um, sometimes when animals get hit by cars. Um, that could be a deer or an armadillo or raccoon, possums, um, different things like that that can get hit by the cars and it's very sad. But for the vultures, that's their food. They don't catch anything that's alive. They just come and clean up anything that has died. And it sounds really kind of icky to eat something that's dead and on the side of the road, but it's important to have those animals because if not, then we would just have dead animals everywhere and that would be really yucky, wouldn't it? I know, this is a very Halloween-ish topic, isn't it? That's why I picked it. So we have one other kind of scavenger here in Texas that I wanted to show you because you maybe or maybe not have seen this one before. Sometimes people will think that this is a hawk, um, but this one here, right here, can you see it on the top there? This is called a crested cara cara. So if you go out towards East Texas, like Bastrop and um, out that way where the trees are really tall, you're more likely to see a cara cara out there. So other animals that can also be scavengers, other kinds of birds, um, are crows. So we have um, crows here in Texas and they're also a black bird and they're a pretty good size too. Um, they're bigger than a grackle, but smaller than a vulture. Um, and my favorite thing about crows is instead of it being a flock of crows, like you would have a flock of birds, they're called a murder of crows. Ooh, very spooky. <laughs> so now that I've shown you the different kinds of vultures that we have and told you about what their job is, I'm going to read you this story about them so we can learn more. Mm -hmm. mm. Vultures are very large birds with long wings. They are raptors. They're birds that eat meat. Some vultures live in the desert. Vultures do not have to kill their food. They eat dead animals. They can smell a dead animal from very far away. They have a really good sense of smell. Can you show me how you smell? Yeah, they can smell from really far away. Vultures fly high in circles. They can fly for a long time, and while they fly, they look for food. See the vultures flying up? When you're done with this video, if it's daytime, you should go outside and look up in the sky and see if you see any vultures out there. You just might. Vultures look for sick animals, and when a sick animal dies, they eat it. Vultures have hooked bills. Their hooked bills help them tear apart meat. So kind of like a knife almost, like a steak knife. Vultures have long, thin necks, and they have few feathers on their heads. Their heads stay clean when they eat. Because vultures don't use napkins, so if they had lots and lots of feathers, they would get kind of yucky, meaty stuff all over their heads, and that would be yucky. Okay. Vultures fight over food. They flap their wings, and they poke each other with their bills, and they croak, and they hiss. Those look like vultures over in Africa. Mm -hmm. Some vultures build nests out of sticks. Some vultures do not build nests and they hide their eggs on the ground or in trees. Because mm -hmm. birds always lay eggs. Yep. Baby vultures hatch from the eggs. The babies or chicks are covered with down. That's like really fluffy, soft, little feathers. Sort of like a baby. A brand new baby has fuzzy hair. It's like that. Their parents keep them warm and their parents feed them meat until they can hunt on their own. There's that vulture chick. And there's 
our Brick and Potter Vultures. All right, so Vultures, kind of yucky, but they have an important job to do, right? So I have some feathers that I'm going to show you in the next part of our video. But I have to turn the camera around in order for you to see the feathers really well and also to see my next creature. So I'll see you in a few minutes.